welcome to our video series taking control of your child's diabetes. My name is Lisette. If your child has to take insulin, you may have many questions. This video will reveal with you what insulin is, why your child is taking it, and how it is taken. It will also go over the different types of insulin. Let's first discuss what insulin is and the role it plays in the body. Insulin is a protein hormone made in the pancreas by the beta cells of the islet of Langerhans. The pancreas is an organ found behind the stomach. Insulin is important for the body because it helps the sugar, which we get from food, to enter the cells of the body, producing energy. When there is not enough insulin made by the body, a person with type 1 diabetes has to receive insulin injections. Injections are given because stomach acid would destroy the insulin if it were given by mouth. There are four types of insulin. The doctor will determine which type works best for your child. The four types of insulin are rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. The rapid acting insulins are clear in color, such as Humalog, Novalog, and Epidra. The short acting insulin is regular insulin. It is considered short acting because it lasts longer than the rapid acting. Examples are Humalog, Novalog, and Epidra as well. The intermediate insulin is cloudy in appearance. Examples are NPH, Humalin N, or Novalin. The long-acting insulins last for 24 hours and should not be mixed with any other insulin. Examples are Lantus and Levomir. You may ask, what is the difference between the different types of insulin? All insulins are grouped according to three criteria. Number one, when it starts to work, the onset. Number two, when it works best, the peak and three, how long the insulin works for, which is the duration. People ask me how often a child needs to take insulin. Basal bolus therapy is the most common insulin therapy used today. This therapy works the way your pancreas used to work before diabetes. It involves using a long-acting insulin, which is your basal, with rapid-acting insulin, which is the bolus, several times a day with meals and snacks. Basal bolus therapy allows for a more flexible schedule. It works with carbohydrate counting and requires four to six injections a day. There are different ways in which insulin is given. Syringe and vial is the most widely used method. We teach this method in the hospital. Now, let me demonstrate. There are many different ways to administer insulin. In this video series, we're going to go over two methods. The first being syringe and vial, which is a commonly used method. For syringe and vial, you will need a syringe, your vial of insulin, and two alcohol swabs. Remember to wash your hands at the beginning of getting your insulin ready. The first step is you will take your alcohol swab and your insulin vial Open your swab, scrub the top, allow to air dry for a few seconds, grab your syringe, carefully remove the cap to expose the needle. Pull back air to the amount of insulin that is needed. Turn your syringe around Inject your insulin vial with the air, push the plunger, flip it upside down, and now pull the amount of insulin needed. Please be sure to check for bubbles. If bubbles are present, you are receiving less insulin than what you need. Next, cover your needle. so that you can pick an injection site and clean it on your child. Injection sites can be the back of the arms, four spots on the abdomen, two finger breaths away from the belly button, and the upper thighs. 
In this example, we're going to use the upper arm for demonstration. Take your alcohol swab and scrub the back of the arm. Allow a few seconds to air dry. Once dry, pick up your syringe, remove the cap carefully. Pinch up the fat of the back of the arm. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle gently. Once the entire needle is inserted, push on the plunger to deliver the insulin. Count to 10 before releasing the fat and removing the needle. Dispose of your needle appropriately in your sharps container. Now I'm going to show you the second method of insulin delivery using an insulin pen. The first step is to wash your hands. For insulin pen delivery, you're going to need your insulin pen, an insulin pen needle, and two alcohol swabs. To get your insulin pen ready, remove the cap, that exposes the rubber hub that you're going to scrub with alcohol. Allow to air dry for a few seconds, then grab your pen needle and carefully remove the paper wrapping. This exposes your needle. Holding your insulin pen upright, push your pen needle down on top of it and twist to tighten. Once tight, pull straight up to remove the cap. Pull straight up to remove the second cap. This exposes your insulin pen needle. If it is the very first time you are using your pen, you will need to waste five units of insulin. Using the dial, dose your pen to five. Hold it straight up and push on the plunger until it reaches zero. You should be able to observe a drop of insulin or a squirt. This means your insulin pen needle is ready and free of air. If it is not the first time you use your insulin pen, you will only have to do these steps wasting two units of insulin. To hold your insulin pen, use your four fingers to wrap around it and your thumb to push the plunger. When getting ready to inject, assure that the window where the dose is displayed is facing you so that you are sure once you push the plunger which will deliver the medication to your child, it goes all the way to zero before you count to 10. Pinch up the skin on the thigh, insert the needle gently at a 90 degree angle and with the window facing you. Once the needle's completely in, push down on the plunger until you reach zero and count to 10. Release the fat of the thigh and remove your needle. Once you are done injecting the insulin into your child, use your big cap to cover the used needle. Once your needle is covered, unscrew the pen needle from your insulin pen and dispose of appropriately. The thought of giving an injection might be scary at first, but with practice, giving insulin becomes easier. So now you know about insulin and how to use it. Remember, we are here for your child and to support you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact your diabetes team. Please continue watching this video series to learn more. And thank you for being an active member of your child's diabetes team.